All right, welcome to episode two. Uh, in the last episode, we installed and activated the product. Uh, we added some demo data. We added some roles to our manager. Uh, in this episode, we're going to go navigate to the manager workspace and see workforce optimization in action. So to do so, let's go ahead and impersonate Ingrid Menard. If you'll remember, she's the manager we added the roles to. I'll refresh the screen here. And on the left-hand side, we're going to search for manager workspace. You'll see that shows up twice. Both of them get you to the same place. Uh, we'll choose the one under workforce optimization. All right, once we load, uh, we're taken to the landing page. This is a configurable landing page using the UI Builder. Uh, we ship an out-of-the-box configuration that includes this manager's team's work, the, the work that's assigned to their team, any unassigned incidents that they'd want to check up on. Happening now over here shows any open P1 incidents, incidents that have breached SLA, incidents that haven't been updated in 24 hours, and incidents uh, that are at risk of, of breaching SLA. If we scroll farther down, we can see that we've got organizational performance showing mean time to resolution across the entire company, first call resolution, and customer satisfaction. All of these indicators can be checked and tested using uh, Analytics Hub. Uh, they have the same exact values as if you went into there. We're just pulling them out and showing them directly to the manager within the manager workspace.